Okay, we were talking about the fluid in the uh, in the skull. So you were talking about two kinds of fluids: one that is rests inside, and one is outside. So can we continue from there? Yeah. So uh, see, the brain is floating in the water. This water is produced all the time. Uh, whether uh, whenever we are alive, it is produced at the same time it gets absorbed. So in kids, it is generally because of the obstruction of the flow of the water. If it is because of the tumor, you remove the tumor, flow is restored. Mm -hmm. If it is because of the no, uh, some non reasoning, but just the outlet is tight. Mm -hmm. So there we have two options. One, we make a hole here, mm -hmm. take in an endoscope, create another hole inside the brain, and so the fluid circulation starts. Second option is you put you make a put in a pipe which goes from the brain under the skull uh, under the skin right into the abdomen so that the water is released. So ultimate goal out here is to restore the water balance mm -hmm. because water is if water is not produced we will we won't be alive. Mm -hmm. okay? That is what in cases of kids mm -hmm. that is called third ventriculostomy where you do it with the endoscope make a hole and uh, in uh, Pipe is called VP shunt. There are n number of VP shunts are available, but uh, programmable ones are better where you can actually control the pressure from outside. So, like an instrument device placed? Yeah, okay. device placed, exactly. Mm -hmm. So, you can from outside with a remote, you can control the okay. pressure, uh, okay, what pressure you want the water to come out or what pressure you want the water to remain inside. That's one. And, uh, but in adults, adult generally it is uh, what the pathway is open but the absorption capacity is decreased from the brain so there is a, it generally happens in elderly patient and uh, they present with three things one is loss of recent memory means they will be able to tell what did they had uh, uh, what did they discuss with their friends 10 years back but they will not be able to recall what they had in the breakfast in the morning so recent memory is impaired the walking is impaired. They will walk with a waddling gait, you know, like this and that. Then uh, this thing. Third thing is uh, urinary incontinence. Means they will feel an urge, but they will unable to. Uh, no, they will be unable to go up to the bathroom before they will void. Oh. Mm -hmm. So there is three things. One is gait ataxia, what we call waddling gait, loss of recent memory, and third is uh, non-control in the urination which is called Harkin's trial and it happens, the scan will be normal we call it normal pressure hydrocephalus this is in uh, old age patients so here you put in a shunt with the pressure regulation and uh, the quality of life is from I cannot do anything I should die to oh I can climb Everest mm -hmm. that sort of transformation is there in these kind of patients okay. this, is, this is very good mm -hmm. so this increase in water is also not good it has to be diverted mm -hmm. the pressure has to remain under certain uh, boundaries mm -hmm. within the skull because it is closed thing mm -hmm. so you have you cannot have whatever is there mm -hmm. god has fixed this parameters mm -hmm. so you have to try to maintain those parameters mm -hmm. Okay, but uh, in normal course, where does this uh, water go? It water gets back absorbed inside the blood vessels. There are uh, on the surface, immediate surface of the brain, there are channels which are called arachnoid villi. They absorb. It's something like uh, what you say. Uh, you make the holes for water harvesting pits, yes. kind of thing. These are kind that kind of thing. So water is produced center of the brain, comes out, circulates on the surface of the brain, and it gets absorbed in those pits. Wow. Thank you.